I mean, this stadium is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's... That's surreal. And how does it make you feel, no matter if it's 20 below or 100 degrees, this whole place has been sold out year after year after year? I feel like once you, uh... Once you kind of hit the little, hit the corner, and then you kind of see like the scenery change, like, okay, where well, you're getting around the stadium, temperature don't even matter no more. Like, it's time to play. You know, I always felt like I had no choice but kind of to play football. I was that kid in elementary school that was, I had a bad speech impediment. I used to start bad, not even being able to get a sentence out and talk to people. So I was always just in my own head. And my escape was me putting on a helmet and, and being able to just be myself. What I think separated them most was determination and trying to keep up with me. We were super competitive. We always played against each other. You don't get this two point conversion. He he always was determined to prove people wrong. The mindset he have is to really just keep going. He be in competition with himself a lot, so it's really it don't matter what other people be saying. Uh, he just try to do the best he can. Well, when I was younger, my little sister, she was born with muscular dystrophy. She went through some stuff at a young age that I felt like, you know, no no kid should go through. And ultimately, when I just think about something being hard or, or me having a setback, I think about her. There is no setback as far as life. Um, everything was just motivation. Being able to climb with your older brother while you're working out is, I mean, that's that's what you want in life. That's what I did growing up. That's what got me to this point. When you do the things that, that got you to a situation, keep it going that way. You don't need to change anything. The draft day for me, Watching somebody that you grew up with, live with, seen every day, reach the highest level, that's just something remarkable. You you don't see it too often. It got around pick 30. Time started going for the next pick, 30, and then, and then 31 rolled around. And I was just kind of chilling, just waiting. And then my phone rang. My call, that's, that's something that's, that's, in my, that's gonna be in my memory forever. It was a dream come true. How are you today? How are you? Great. <laughs> it's right over here. Take a look. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. That's what we imagined, huh? Yeah. <laughs> man, I appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. You're welcome. Welcome to Kansas City. We're happy to have you. The jersey is going to mean a lot. But he reached a milestone. Not everybody get to make it that far and go in the first round. So I, th I think the jersey gonna mean a lot. Thank you so much. The goal was I feel him always to be better than me. Like that's that's what I always wanted. Like if I do something, I want him to do it better. And to see him make it this far, like I'm proud. Now I, I kind of expected it, but I'm proud of him. I like starting from square one. I still get to prove a lot of people wrong. I feel like my whole life has always been. Too small, to this, to whatever, to, you know, you'll never make it. And then I'm, right now I'm in the NFL and still have not only stuff to prove to, you know, my teammates and everybody else, but to myself. I, I feel like I just only scratched the surface of what I can do. And I, I feel like I have so many miles left and so many more things to do and so many more highlights to make. And let's try to create some crazy 30 for 30. <laughs>